What's going on guys, Michael Tiger Supplies, and today we're going over the differences between an aluminum and fiberglass tripod, all right? Uh, these are the two most popular construction tripods out there. We get this question all the time, so let's jump right into it. Um, going over aluminum tripods, all right? They're much more lightweight, and they're a little more economical friendly than those fiberglass tripods, okay? And, and where do they kind of have their niche? Um, they do really well with that small to medium size equipment, okay? You can see we have a rotary laser up here, a transit level, automatic level. If you use these types of tools, an aluminum tripod is gonna be an excellent choice, all right? Now, let's jump into the fiberglass tripods. Where do these excel? They excel in durability and stability, okay? And, and when you're using those medium to heavyweight pieces of equipment, and even more so expensive equipment, you're going to want to go with a fiberglass, okay? You can see we have a total station on here right now, but if you're using one of those high-end scanners, those can cost $50,000 and up, you're going to want to go with a fiberglass tripod. Now, let's talk about the leg preferences, particularly the wing nut and the actual quick-release clamps, okay? Um, both get the job done excellent, but we've actually seen a lot of more of the old school guys prefer the wing nut over the actual uh, quick release clamps. And that's just because they feel that sometimes, you know, a strap can catch much easier and boom, there goes the leg. So look, it comes down to preference. We've personally never seen one that uh, 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 has actually fallen, but nonetheless, you know, that is kind of the old school superstition out there. So let's go into the accessories right now, all right? Um, the first being the tripod floor stabilizers. Now, if you use a, a tripod indoors, this is going to be very handy for you because it prevents the legs from slipping out. Um, so just know that. Now, the second most uh, useful accessory is going to be actually the stability strap. If you're working on really rugged and kind of off terrain, this makes your tripod much more stable, especially when all these legs aren't at the same length. So kind of to wrap everything up, guys, um, you have durability, portability and stability. Aluminum tripods are going to excel a little bit more on that, on that portability side and they're also going to be a little bit of a more economically friendly for you. And then those fiberglass tripods, those are going to be much more durable and sturdy for you for, for kind of those medium to high-end equipment. So look, you guys know the difference and you now can make an educated decision.